Hey everyone, Shaver 1000 here. I thought I'd come out and start the vet. It's been very hot. It's been, uh, heat's really been messing with our batteries, so <clears throat> I didn't give it a full charge last time I had it started. So, let's see if it'll start. Waiting on that fan to kick on here. <laughs> I gotta oil that. Uh-oh. Alright, let's put the jumpers on this, or the battery charger on this thing. Because, uh, I don't like these things sitting here with dead batteries. Get the hood up on this thing. I got to get in the garage, get the battery charger out. I got the charger on. I don't have it on boost. It's got on 40 amp charge. Did roll the window down. Let's see if it'll fire up now. Sounds like it's got a miss in it. I don't know if it's a plug, but it's not a wire. So it might be a plug, maybe an injector. Not sure. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave that on the charger regular charge for about 20 minutes then I'm going to put it down on the 2 amp and uh, I'll let it trickle charge the rest of the day it's about noon ish right now yeah it's got that miss in it but this computer they've got this ostrich on here so it needs to be detuned because uh, it was they had it all set up for that supercharger. I don't have the supercharger on it, so I'm either going to have to detune this, or I think the easiest thing because this is a plug-and-play computer, I can just buy another computer and put in it for like a hundred bucks, and then it should put it back down to where it should be with the idle and the timing you know of course on this one the older car you, you turn the distributor of course it needs clean uh, but it's going to need tires before we can drive it um, one of these is really really bad I don't even like standing around it but it might be that one over there but uh yeah, they're all dry cracked, and like I said, one of them's just got a big bubble on it. It's ready to blow out. I don't even want to take it down to the gas station, get gas in it, so we just get gas and put it in a can and bring it up here, but... I do have a timing light, set the timing up. This It's just set up by ear right now. It's pretty close but I can't set the timing where it needs to be with this setup the way it is. It's really dumping a lot of fuel into the cylinder, so. You know, like I said, I don't know if it's a, uh, I can find out which cylinder it is by pulling each one of these off. 
one at a time and see which one changes and one that change the one that doesn't change will be the one that's misfiring it'll be the cylinder that's misfiring then I can go from there and then I can pull a plug and, and check it I don't know when the last time plugs were put in this thing but yeah, so heat's just getting to all our batteries, man. But once this is, uh, I do have that piece that goes here. But once this is, uh, once we got tires on it, we can start driving it around here. Because when a car has sat this long, it's it's been off the road since 2015. Um, I remember the sticker on the tag. So it's been off the road since 2015. So anytime you start driving something after that long, it's going to develop other issues, other problems. That's to be expected. And I do expect it. But yeah, there's there's the plugs on this side, guys. I'm betting it's probably one of these <laughs> or this one a cylinder on this side so um, but yeah it just developed a miss I can hear it it just it's not as smooth revving up I can feel it and I can hear it this thing charge up a while we put the top down let it air out but I was going to go on a hike today but my back's not that great to be carrying a backpack and we're supposed to get some rain this afternoon and some thunder showers so but yeah I think one of the plugs is misfiring So, I thought I'd bring you along with that. I'm just kind of hanging out. Monkey and her mom went to the store, so I thought I'd come out and fire this thing up. I, I gotta get all this stuff blown out. Just usually take a leaf blower and blow it out. I don't know where all they're coming from. 
maybe that tree may be blown over from here, but yes, <laughs> got to be blown from that tree. But yeah, that's, and then of course, you know, once I know everything's good to go and we can drive it regularly, then I'll get all this, I'll get some new wire loom and you know, get all these wires put up where they belong and, and uh, you know, clean it up, make it look a little better. Uh, like I said, we're never going to restore it. To, most of the things that we're going to get, it does need a paint job, uh, but that'll be about the most it ever gets. I'll probably, until then, I'll, you know, do them mirrors, repaint them mirrors, stuff like that. Do have to pull I think it's this fan here but as you can see how hard that's gonna to be to get to take that fan off and it just needs some lube and it only does it after it's been sent in a few days you turn the key on that fan comes on so a couple other things I'm want to do to it it'll probably never get a supercharger put back on it um, it shouldn't have one put on it to begin with If it was mine, I would have put a tunnel ram on it, did away with the fuel injection, put a tunnel ram on it, and a couple 650, 700 Hollies going out the hood. But uh, that's what I would have done with it and got just as much power as that, uh, as that supercharger. I still got the supercharger, but I don't think I'm ever going to put it back on. It just, you know, we're never going to race it. May run it down the track once or twice here and there you know just to see what it'll do the way it is but um yeah we're never going to race there's no sense in having that like that you know just just a car like this you know hell the, thir the thing's 33 years old it's been in the family for 27 years well 28 years this year it's been in the family so it ain't going anywhere we had it up for sale for a while but you know <coughs> Excuse me, these C4s, you can buy them in almost mint condition, 72,000 miles driving for around $4,500, $4,800. Uh, what this has got going for it is the True Duels. You know, it don't have an X pipe or anything. It's got True Duels with the long tube headers. It does have some stuff, something, something going on inside the engine there, you know, to kind of pep it up a little bit and a convertible and it's also got the luggage rack and a trunk that bolts or doesn't bolt on it just kind of it, it goes into here and then clips onto here and then you have a little trunk uh, those are custom wheels I got, I got, I got a picture of this thing sitting in front of their motel. They used to own a motel on Daytona Beach, Florida. They owned it for 20 years, and I've got a picture of this thing. It has different wheels, and the uh, it didn't have the pipes on it yet. Uh, this is not the original top. I think he was wanting to go with, uh, you know, white with the black trim on it, which that's that's the way to go. It looks great like that. So, you know, there's what's going on with the vet. Um, these headlights I'm going to have to take out and repaint. But, yeah, it's...
but it's getting close. I mean, if we had the tires, it's it's it is drivable. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let this charge up. Thanks for watching, guys. Just thought I'd give you a Friday on the vet and um, let you know what's going on with it. So, yeah, I'm just gonna let it charge. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the two amp right now. It's kind of like a trickle charge. I'll just leave it charge all day like that. Or until it rains. I mean that doesn't doesn't look like nothing there, but in 10 minutes it could be porn. So <laughs> alright guys, thanks for watching. Shea Bear the Myth the Man of Legend. I'm gone for now. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye and take care. Hi. I know it. Been about 15 minutes. Told you. All right. Got to get the hood down on this thing. either feast or famine. Eighty nine, but the real feels still one oh one right now. Alright, I gotta get this camera wiped off. Thanks for watching guys.